Hi guys, so I wanted to have you guys at a different angle, but I can't because I have my desk and paint pouring station currently. So right now it is full of stuff and I just got my Jerry's order today. I used birthday money for my Jerry's Artorama order and there are two big boxes. Last time I was able to do a big purchase like this was last year in March when the pandemic started. I still have some of that art, art supplies still, but you know, um, it is what it is. I'm gonna open these off camera on the bottom here, but I'm gonna leave the sound on so you guys can hear it and stuff. So let's get to it. I am going to open these boxes. I am excited because I haven't been able to do a big order like this. In a long time. I love that sound. Okay. There's a multitude of art supplies in here, not just paints. So. my order of canvases that I got. I got some small 4x4 four four Charbon, or not Charbon, I have Charbon on the brain. I have gallery wrapped the edge canvases because like I said, when I buy new canvases now, it's either Frederick's or the edge, but mostly the edge. So there's that. And I want to show you, this is full of art supplies. This is full up of art supplies and I do save the bubble wrap. And some of this stuff got jumbled because the post office person put it upside down on my porch. And I was a little upset about that. So I tried to grab it before they set it down. But you know, I'm readjusting, putting things back into things. So, I'm going to save all the paint colors I got for last because I got a lot of colors that I do not own yet. So there's a lot of paint and I'm going to save it for last. First things first that I saw was my Jerry Zardorama online has a buy it, try it page. So... I bought some of their stuff that they had on there and this was one of it. It is a three by three painting panel and I have an idea to do for these and it is all media sized linen painting panel. So I'm gonna do some small oil paintings on this size canvas. And then I also bought some five by seven oil primed linen paint panels. So. There's two five by seven panels here. So, you know, they're pretty sturdy. And I, like I said, I got plans for these too. One of these I am extremely excited for, and that is this. I have these familiar um, oil pastels, still life assorted colors. So now I have the still life set. I have the other sets. And I also ordered the actual assorted colors set. So now I have all four box sets of these pastels because remember when I tried them 
and I absolutely loved them because I always wanted to get into pastels, but I never could because I guess it was just the types of pastels I was using that turned out to be true. I actually love pastel art and I love these and I have been trying to do more pastel art for you guys lately because I had a commenter ask me to do more pastel art. So this is me showing that I, that is what I am doing. I bought more pastels for you guys and I have some still lives that I want to do. So, and it's going to involve some pretty good things. So I also got their Buy It Try It brushes from their section. Um, I got a Filbert and then I got a long, like a straight long Mimic, I think it was. I gotta open these to check. I didn't wanna open them, but they won't turn around. So, this is from their Buy It Try It section as well. And I got a Filbert Mimic Hog. This is the Mimic Hog. My creative mark. And I had a brush like this a long time ago. Not like this, not for this particular brand, but the type of bristles, that, the shape of the bristles. And I ended up really liking it to a point where I ruined it. So now I have a new one. I think I'm gonna order a couple more because I want one for acrylics and for oils. Cause you, you know, you can't use your acrylic paint brushes with your oil paints so um, and then I also got another Mimic Kalinsky for watercolors I bought this for watercolors because Kalinsky is pretty good for watercolors and these brushes feel pretty darn sturdy so if you want to try their try it buy it section definitely go to Jerry's Artorama online because this is amazing um, these bristles are awesome and for the price I paid for them I'm gonna buy it like five more so yeah um, I definitely recommend I don't want to put it on that desk because there's stuff all over it so I'm gonna move it over there now on to Charvin and I don't think you guys understand I got there's more Charvin in the box but I got a ton of Charvin so we're gonna start with the big boy first because um, you guys know I do candle paintings and light paintings, so I love having more of the colors I use for those. So the last time I bought the Naples Yellow Deep, this time I bought the regular Naples Yellow. And the tube feels cold because it was outside, but it's a Naples Yellow. PY42 One Naples Series 2. So, and it's by Charvin Acrylics. So, I'm gonna slip him back into this. There is a color that I got that I have never used before from Charvin, and I'm very excited for. So, I got more blue shadow because my jellyfish painting sort of ate up all the blue shadow that I had. The 60 mils don't really stretch on massive paintings, but if you had the 150 mils, then yeah. So that's why I'm starting to get a good stock up of 150 mil tubes because I am gonna start doing large paintings this next coming year. And for this next, Color. It's Prussian Blue. Again, sharpen. So, and it's Prussian Blue. I'm trying to. I'll probably take a picture of these and show them at the end of the video. Um, I haven't done an art tour in a while and it feels nice. So, move that to that side. There's another individual tube. And this is my Charvin Warm Gray, which I had and I realized the tube was completely empty, so I bought a new one. And I think we're moving on to the new colors now, I think. I'm trying to remember what I- oh, yep. Yep, new color. I didn't even know, I just guessed. So, um, this color I'm very excited for because I, I want to experiment a little more with these types of colors 
and the color is diamond orange diamond orange and it shows there how opaque it is and I say it's pretty opaque like probably one more layer and that Charbon lettering would be pretty much covered uh, that's what I love about Charbon is it's pretty thick it's pretty pretty thick and I love I love heavy body acrylic paints so um, checking on my painting over here and as the cells are popping and I love it so uh, this next one is Hansa yellow medium this is a yellow I do not have so Hansa yellow medium I thought this was only an oil paint color but Sharpen has it in acrylics. So I thought that was awesome. Now on to the ones that have a three in each. So this first color I'm very excited about is Chartreuse. It's another yellow. Yes, more yellows. I'm trying to have every single color that Sharpen has. So uh, the Chartreuse color is now added to the bunch. Now I have Ocean Blue. I already had this, but you know, um, I used it all on a jellyfish painting, so. And I bought some more intense black, because I'm not against using black in art, because there are times where you do actually need it, so. So I also, along with black, I bought some more titanium white because I was out. I was out. I should have bought 150 mil too, but that's the next order. So, and then I got two alizarin crimsons. This was actually a mistake done by me personally because I thought I didn't have it in my cart. Turns out I did, and when I checked out, I noticed that there were two of these. So. Um, yeah, but that's okay because it just means I won't have to buy it for a while, so I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. Um, that is what I bought. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but I got some good quality materials with birthday money. And I got, that's a ton of tubes of paint. So I was very excited to get those amount of tubes of paint and I'm very excited to have my brush back. So I'm probably gonna order like four more so I can have five. Um, because like I said, I love this type of brush. I love, I use it for everything. So um, I'm excited to have this back and I can't wait to try this with my watercolor paintings. So um, again with the Pastels. I'm very excited for these. These were the most expensive items were these pastels. They were like $48 each. So I had the money. I had the opportunity that I don't always get. So I bought both of these and I'm going to do a review video separately for these two boxes. So yeah, um, I'm excited. I'm going to go ahead and throw these on the shelf that's behind you. And I have some more canvases to play around with. Um, I got smaller ones because I'm running out of space. And yeah, the smaller ones are easily stored better. And a lot of people like smaller artwork anyway. So yeah, I'm excited. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the angle. It's a good thing I cleaned the last time. So yeah. No Dr. Pepper bottles everywhere yet. Um, but trust me, there will be. <laughs> there always is. But anyway, alright guys, I love you all. Thank you so much for all of your love. And I hope to see you very soon. Um, please take care of yourselves. This is all because you guys... Um, I wouldn't have bought this much art supplies if it wasn't for your support and for your love. And your just constant communicating with the channel and, and it just really helps me continue making stuff for you guys so um i'm gonna get back to doing acrylic paint pouring and yeah so peace out and i will see you on the next video please stay safe and stay well and
Yeah. Um, bye. <laughs>